learn new ways of telling stories, I learn to conduct research and work in teams, I learn how to solve problems and organize complex projects, and ultimately, when they see these projects through to their conclusion, they'll have a better sense of themselves as people who can do things and solve problems, a quality that researchers call self-advocacy. And we had a research study of the pilot phase and showed that we are hitting these marks, that we're successful in, in, in teaching these skills. And I wanted to share with you a few, few quotes uh, from students from, from that report. The WHYY Media Lab has given me more confidence in myself and made me a more active student. The way that this program has affected me was that it made me want to do more filming and make videos. It encourages me to make, it encouraged me to want to make and learn and document more of the topics that make me curious. I enjoyed watching the finished product and having a feeling of accomplishment. It helped me by putting more confidence in me. We have found the School District of Philadelphia to be a really terrific partner in this work. Uh, and I want to just thank a few people. Uh, Dr. Height, certainly. Uh, Melanie Harris, Cara Levine, and uh, Philippe Chinaga from the Technology Department. Leslie Saul uh, and uh, David Kippett from CTE. And then all of the fantastic principals teachers, and of course students uh, that we meet at these schools. I'm really amazed every day. You know, you hear on the news, uh, you know, just terrible things about the school district of Philadelphia on a regular basis, and anybody who stepped foot in any of these schools knows that there's way more to what goes on in this district than you hear in the news. You guys are awesome. You're doing awesome work, and you should feel really strong. tell you a little bit more about what we're doing here at Dobbins is one of those fantastic principles, Dr. Tony Day. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let me first just talk a little bit about why, why this means so much to Dobbins. Um, when you just look around and you look at all of our wonderful children, this is the reason why we do what we do. And so I just want to say to you all, because you all have sat here, you've listened, and you've been paid attention. So I want to first thank you all for coming in every day. I need to also thank my teachers. It's because of the teachers that I have. We know we have financial challenges. But if you look at our kids, you'll never know that we have financial challenges because of the work that our teachers do. Our culinary arts department came in early this morning and put in such a wonderful breakfast for us. They stayed late yesterday and they set up the other side. This is what we do here at Dobbins. And so I thank each and every one of you because if it wasn't for the work that you do, I wouldn't have been inspired to even write this grant. I have to give a special shout out to our film teacher, Mr. Tom McLaughlin. He has been doing an after school film program without dated material. Nonetheless, he and his students have persevered. They have competed in several competitions, and it was because of their perseverance that I thought it not robbery to take time to write for this grant. Which now brings me to those of you who have contributed to make this grant possible. I want to thank you all. It's because of your donations, your contributions, whether it's in kind, whether it's financial, whether it's your time, it means so much to all of us. The partnerships that we get from these type of programs are far reaching than an after school program. I have to speak about one of my students, Kalia Victor, who has been in Tom's film program for several years. As a result, Kalia is prime and poised to go to Howard University. But look, we're talking about a full scholarship for Kalia. We're talking about Kalia not only going, but going into the Annenberg Honors Program in the Communications Department. And when we go this month or next month through a partnership with WHYY, we will get to tour their TV station. And so these are the type of things that we do. several 
other students doing these type of things. Thank you. Once in a while, maybe too frequently, as Craig suggested, we hear uh, stories about public school education uh, here in the city of Philadelphia. In fact, uh, this is hardly the only community across the country, if not around the globe, faced with the challenges of learning. Uh, this is going on everywhere. Uh, and I would encourage you to lift your spirit, lift your minds above uh, some of those uh, unfortunate stories because we are part of a larger nation trying to grapple with an educational pathway uh, that makes sure that all of us are capable of learning over, over a lifetime. So it's a, it's a tough challenge, but uh, when we succeed at it, uh, I suspect uh, this community will be second to no other. Uh, sometimes it seems improbable that we can get to the finish line. Uh, but it takes good leadership uh, of the sort that you've just heard from your principal. It also takes good leadership from people like Bill Hyde. And I'd like to use this quasi-public setting to express to Bill our collective appreciation on behalf of WHYY for the quality of his leadership, for fighting the good fight, and to making often the improbable seem quite possible. Ladies and gentlemen, your superintendent of the Philadelphia School District, And to the students, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And it's good to see all of you here today. And as uh, Dr. Damon stated, thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being interested in this type of resource. And the fact that, and I said this last year, and I think I'm going to keep saying it, that students, and you understand this, I mean, so we have to be, and we have to acknowledge individuals who provide stuff to us. In other words, who give us stuff. So the fact that you're having a media lab here at Dobbins um, is the work of multiple individuals. These individuals have already spoken to you. I'm going to introduce them in a minute. But can you help, can you join me in help acknowledging all the individuals who are providing this experience and this opportunity to the students here at Dobbins? Let's thank them. Foundation, Sean, thank you for being here. Sean was up here earlier. I don't know where Sean went. Oh, there you are. And Sean, thank you for being here. And thank you for not only supporting this, but supporting the multitude of projects throughout the city of Philadelphia to support the students here. WHYY, you heard from their president and CEO, Bill Morazzo. You heard from Craig Satura. Thank you for the work that you guys are doing, and thank you for providing a staff member to assist the wonderful teachers here at Dobbins with the work in doing these media labs. Dr. Damon, it goes without saying, one of our tremendous leaders and principals in the school district, thank you for what you do each and every day. Um, and the other day, leaders have to lead. Dr. Damon is an example of that type of leadership, so thank you for the work that you do each and every day. Um, and I want to thank uh, Melanie Harris and her team. Melanie is over here. Uh, Ms. Harris is our chief information, and that is all of the resources, all of the bandwidth, all of the technology, the fact that as a system we're going to launch Google Apps this year but Ms. Melanie Harris, she's the chief of our information system. Students, I hope you take advantage of the emails that you can now have. So you can now have your own email accounts in the school district. So we want you to take advantage of that as well. The, um, so the school district and HYY first unveiled a pilot phase of this a year ago. And it was done in seven district schools. And as an educator, I asked the question that most educators will ask, and that is, how do we know it made a difference? And how do we know it's working? Well, we now have an answer to that. 
And as a matter of fact, the labs were assessed by an independent organization, and that organization is called Research for Better Schools. The report that, as promised, students learn audio and video production, created documentaries, became active, critical viewers of media, developed numerous skills, gained self-esteem and experience, how they can be a voice of change in their community. In other words, students, this, this is simple. So we're in, a, we're in an age now where information is available. It's available everywhere. You hear things about things everywhere. And to be responsible consumers of that information then becomes really important. Bill Morazzo just talked about the stories we hear about the school district of Philadelphia. And it's unfortunate because individuals see our children, all 203,000 of them, through what they hear in those stories. And those stories don't always reflect the things that are going on each and every day. And they certainly don't reflect the potential of each and every one of you. Um, and so I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to take advantage of these resources to become critical consumers of information, to use media and these flash labs to tell your story. Um, just think for a second if you had an opportunity to submit college application in a video journal of your experience or your life. That is a powerful statement and a powerful resource that could be available to all of you. So students felt learning media production prepared them for the world in a variety of ways. 70% of the students indicated increased media literacy skills. 80% reported gains in listening skills. That's always important. 60% reported gains in writing effective sentences and paragraphs. Now we have a chance to expand the program from a handful of temporary labs to five permanent sites this year, with 27 schools total over the next three years receiving media labs. The selected schools for this year are Meehan, Palumbo, Franklin Learning Center, the U School, and of course, Dobbins. This is a great partnership among the district and our educators, WHYY, as the region's leader in using technology for lifelong learning and generous group of funders. And so I want to thank all of the individuals for doing this work for us. And in addition, I want to once again encourage our students to take advantage of these resources. This is critically important. And then there's one other thing that we're doing in partnership with WHYY, and that is we're trying to restart the school district's TV station. And we want to restart that with content that is produced, created, developed by students. And so some of the contents that we hope you produce will then become a part of what we present on our school district TV station. We want you here at Dobbins to be a part of that. So with that, congratulations, Dobbins. Um, thank you, HYY. to the ribbon-cutting portion of this program. <laughs>